I mean, the first thing in the scouting report is that they're talented. Obviously, they are. Um, you know, they they've had some inconsistency, uh, but they do have length and they have some talent. Uh, you know, they had injuries. They've kind of uh, come together a little bit. Um, you know, we just got to play better. You got to have more people play better uh, when it comes down to it. And uh, I thought early we had good shots. Uh, we just didn't make them. And that's where they got that, you know, six, eight point lead. And then we just, we stayed there. We just uh, could never get a dent, uh, make them get them get tight at all. Uh, you know, you know, I challenge Mark. He hasn't, he's had a couple games where he hasn't done as much. Um, I, I just said, what can you really do well? And he, he said, rebound. I said, well, then go rebound and worry about that. Worry about the things you can control. And obviously, you know, pretty effective performance. Ironically, he worries about rebounding and he, you know, and he ends up scoring that, you know, in the game. So he has 20 and 16. It's pretty good. Nigel kept us in early, got some threes down um, when other people weren't, uh, you know, he had seven assists. I think that's the best of the year. Uh, so he, uh, but we, you know, we just, uh, you know, we just didn't get enough out of some other guys. Luke gave us a little boost off the bench, obviously a four point play at the end of the half. I thought, get it within six, come out with the ball, you know, put a little pressure on them, but uh, we just could never do it. Uh, and when we, the paint was obviously, if you look at it, 32 to 14. Um, and they, you know, they, they only blocked, it says five shots, but it sure seemed like a lot more than that to me. Uh, and, and that's where we had to make, the, the next play, the extra play. Um, and our, I don't think our defense was, was bad, but it wasn't good enough to, uh, you know, to get stops when we needed to at the right time. Thank you, Coach. Uh, tell us, go ahead. Yeah, Bruce, why do you think this was a hard game for Marquise? He was stuck on zero points for a long time. Yeah, I don't I don't know. And he had, you know, you guys watch, he had had some really good games. Um, you know, he's been frustrated by his shooting. I kept telling him, don't worry about the shooting, worry about everything else, the things you can't control, what you can do, you can guard, you can, you can get assists, you can create havoc for other teams. Um, you know, but they were big and they, you know, they they made it tough on him. Uh, in the paint. And, you know, I, I think he just, uh, it's part of, you know, this is all new to him too. And I told him the other day, this it's a whole nother level and, and team scouts you and then they start learning you and tendencies. And now you gotta, you gotta, you know, be able to react and make the next play. Uh, but obviously we needed him or Mike, one of those two, if we get one of those two to play a little better, uh, make a few more shots, obviously the game could have been different but it, it wasn't. And, uh, you know, when I watched the scout tape, I, I told Coach Henderson, I said, how in the heck are we going to win? But then I watched other games that they were involved in. And I thought, man, maybe we have a chance. And, you know, it was, it was, uh, you know, we weren't, it wasn't totally out of the reach, but at the same time, they never allowed us to, or we never made them feel uncomfortable. I, I didn't think in the whole game. And that what what made you go with Carlton in the starting lineup today? Um, just a little more balance. We were going to rotate. Um, you know, uh, they they went small. They played a guy that hasn't played played almost at all, and he actually steps up and and makes a a, a shot. And, and you know, she, you know, kind of gave them a little more momentum when they played small ball. Uh, but you know, Carlton, we're just you know trying. He's got a little bounce, a little. Uh, you know, just seeing if he could give us a little bit. We had talked about rotating, uh, you know, him, Casey, and Davion. Davion's still struggling a little bit. Hopefully by, you know, next week uh, he'll be, you know, back moving well and, and we can give him – we can get him more minutes out of him because we uh, – you know, when you get 32 to 14, obviously the paint, uh, that's, you know, that's part of it with those big guys helping us a little bit inside. All right, thanks, Bruce. Uh, next question to Michael. Bruce, you mentioned the points in the paint being two to one. Um, out rebounded by 10. I think it was seven to two in, in uh, fast break points. Is that a lack of, of aggression by your guys? I think some of it's just the, the length and talent. Uh, they have very good length, they have very good talent, athleticism. Um, you know, I, I, you know, we, I wouldn't say, you know, their defensive rebounding, 
uh, we missed a lot of shots. We actually had more offensive rebounds than they did, if you look at it. So, um, and we, you know, with seven to six second chance points, it was just, we missed so many shots that, you know, we didn't, you know, that's where they got the defensive rebounding. So I, so I think sometimes that stat is a little bit dis- deceiving that they beat us so badly in that, but it, a lot of it was, we didn't make the shots and they got the rebounds. Um, so it's, uh, you know, it, it, we, we, you know, we got it. We've been pretty good at protecting the paint um, and, you know, with our defense, but uh, they, they were able to get bias and, and create some situations where we couldn't, we couldn't contain them. And uh, they got to the tight curls a couple of times. It wasn't like one thing just killed us. They kind of just got it inside a few times, got a tight curl, got a, off the dribble. You, they, you know, obviously Ruffin's pretty good with the ball and, and quick and got downhill on us. And, um, you know, they, but again, you look at their numbers, Ruffin at 17, but took 16 shots to get there, but they just have great balance. They got a lot of guys to contribute, you know, six, 17, nine, nine, 10, eight, five, three, you know, so, uh, and we just didn't have enough, enough from our, our rest of our guys to, to really push them. You miss. You mentioned missing open shots. How does the offense get into a better rhythm? I thought early we had good rhythm and we had good open shots. And um, you know, I think against them, some of it's you know we had a thing where we talked a lot about one more, and those couple games where we kind of got better on offense and one more pass, making that next pass, getting it in the paint, jump stopping, getting it out, one more, you know, and and. Um, we, I think we, you know, today I thought we got to the paint. We just, instead of trying to finish, just jump stop. You know, now they're all coming. Now can you read it and make it to the next, you know, make the next right play? And you got to adjust. You got to be smart. And uh, I would say that would be just on offense, just playing a little more, a little smarter and a little better execution. Thank you, Coach. Uh, next question to Arnie. Yeah, along those those same lines, only one turnover in the first half, but was some of that maybe just because you weren't were settling a little and maybe not being as as aggressive as as you should be? Do you think? Well, I thought you know again they blocked shots. We were aggressive, got to the paint. Now you you know we had 15 assists on 19 field goals, and and I I would tell you we I don't know how many, but I bet eight to ten other wide open shots that you know we actually made good basketball plays but we've been you know we've been getting to the paint getting layups um you know getting to the free throw line Uh, it you know so that that part of it and uh and um, there were there were some where we settled there's no doubt um you know where you know and and, and we had more late shot clock plays today than we've had in maybe all season combined um you know again that you got to give them a little credit there they were, they were locked in and I was worried about one, three, one and two, three, but they just said, heck with it. We're just going to guard the heck out of them and uh, see what happens. They did a great job on, you know, obviously Mark has a nice night. and uh, Nigel, you know, has 18 and seven assists. It's a pretty good numbers. Uh, but, you know, like, just like I said, we needed somebody else beside Luke to, to give us a little more to make a difference. Thanks. Uh, next question to Cole. Yeah, coach, uh, I, we were talking to Mark a little bit about this, but you have those two really good games with Texas and Texas Tech back to back, and then a really good first half against KU. How do you get that consistency on a game in game out basis with this group? Well, I think even Kansas, it, you know, it's just not the half. Obviously, the half was special, but you know, we still were winning the game against top six, whatever top ten team, you know, into the second half and had our chances to find a way. So we played pretty good basketball. Obviously, um, it was an emotional loss. It it, I, it affected us mentally. Uh, you know, probably we were all too emotional after that one. And uh, you know, I, I thought, you know, Baylor obviously. You could just see it. It was, uh, you know, we didn't have the the energy, the spirit that we needed. Obviously, you lose Selton. You still don't have Davion. 
two pretty good key members of our team. And, uh, you know, you're hoping somebody else step up. Mike's been, when, when we did play well against uh, Texas and Texas Tech, Mike was very good and efficient. And you look at their guys, their other guys tonight, uh, you know, four for six, uh, two for three, three for five, two for five. That, you know, those, that's what we need. We need somebody else. Luke gives us two for five from three, five rebounds. You know, does this, you know, he's the only one with a plus, plus two on the positive, you know, on the plus minus chart. So, but we just needed a few more guys. And that obviously, if you get somebody else step up, it's going to help your offense. And then my only other question is about Carlton. I know you've talked about earlier in the season, just, hard for him to kind of catch back up due to the injury and now with practice just do you envision him staying in that uh that starting five spot as you continue on down um you know obviously we get Davey on back and you hope that he can give us a little boost to energy um and get going a little bit it, the 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 thing Carlton does he doesn't always know when we call when you ask about offense and rhythm and that he doesn't always know what uh, what's going on there. There's several times we ran a couple plays and, and he wasn't, you know, didn't get where he was. And, and then again, that's part of reps and practice. And, um, but he, he does have length. He does have bounce. Uh, and I've said all along, he needs not conference. He needs a summer trip. He needs the practice over a course of time. And that's where he's going to make progress. And, you know, right now we're just throwing them into the into the wolves and see what happens. And hopefully this experience will help him and he can start to make some strides. Uh, next question to Grant. Hey, Coach, I know um, they were without their leading scorer, but you're also without Salta Miguel, you know, a defender for you guys. Do you think that affected you on the defensive end and on the glass some? Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt it, you know, just rotating people. I, I thought Luke stepped in and did a nice job coming off the bench. Like I said, he's plus two and, and has a couple big plays for us. So, um, but, you know, Sultan's been a starter 30 minutes. He's our, probably our best overall defender. And, uh, you know, and, and, he, and he is one guy that seems to get to the paint to score, uh, you know, so you, you missed him. I mean, they, and they had to, you know, with them, if you look at some of their games where after they lost their, their guy, you know, they had to figure it out and now they, you know, slowly but surely they figured it out. Other guys have figured out their roles. Um, you know, and again, I, you know, it is what it is. I'm not making excuses. We've had no continuity. We've had no consistency and um, you know, it's just, it's life. It's it. We just, all we can do is hang together, keep fighting, believing and, and hope, uh, we get more guys playing well on, on Wednesday. And yeah, I you know you said before this game how important this game was leading up to it. Now that you've lost it, how important is it going forward to, you know, oh, it's just, like every that? game's the biggest game of the year. I mean, if we're going to do anything, I mean, I told them that I said, today's the biggest game of the year. Wednesday, you, you know, you, I was hoping we win. I see win this one and uh, Wednesday will be the biggest game of the year. And that's, that's all. You know, we and I don't want them to be tight with it. And that I hope they it's more to me, it's more focused and disciplined and and doing what we what we want to do and execute all those things. Travel safe. Thank you. Okay, Kellis, go ahead. Uh one more for you, Bruce. I, I know uh, you know. Putting this game in the middle of the Big 12 schedule and all has got to be difficult. But what, what is it just about this challenge that makes these games hard? I know you guys don't have the greatest record in it. Well, it's just, you know, they're, you're, you know, this was, uh, you know, you go on the road against a, a team that's pretty similar to us, I guess, in their league. Um, they've had some nice games and they've had some struggles. You know, they, that's a team that took Tennessee to overtime and, you know, that's a team that led Auburn by double digits. That's a team that just beat Florida by 17 or 15, whatever it is that, you know, so um, it, it's just, a, it's a tough game. Obviously it helps, I think, to be at home uh, in the challenge, but, uh, you know, we, you know, you hope, uh, you know, we were all hoping that we play a little better and we did it. So uh, I, I think our league is tough enough. Obviously it is at every game, the grind one through 10, that, uh, you know, 
and I don't even know what else happened the rest of the league. I, I didn't, to be honest, I knew TCU had won, uh, but, uh, you know, it's, it, it, it you know, I, again, I've always said it. I, I love the challenge. I wish it was in December. Everyone wants good games in December. That's a chance to have good games in December. And, uh, you know, it just makes it a little tougher on you instead of a bye week or, you know, in the ACC, a lot of times for years, those guys would play a, 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 a buy team. They would buy a game in the middle just to kind of feel good again and get confidence instead of going against a, an elite team. Obviously, when you win, you feel good. But when you lose, you you wish that it wasn't there.